One of these is an iPhone, and the other is a special Blackberry iPhone I designed myself. See if you can tell which one's which. <laughs> yeah, you might need a bigger pocket for this one. Yes, it's the Blackberry iPhone 12 Pro Plus Max QWERTY X model. Hi there, uh, welcome to another experiment. I'm Sam Tucker and today I want to show you how I made my own, my very own Blackberry iPhone. And don't be fooled, I'm not just plugging in an external keyboard. This does actually run its own secure private OS, unlike uh, iPhone and Android. Take that, privacy Apple. You think you care about privates? I look at everyone's privates and I'm impressed by this big black private part. And I actually use this as my primary phone, maybe not with the keyboard so it is a real deal and I want to show you all about it it's a lot of fun but first big thanks to this week's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn things your mummy and daddy didn't teach you you know because they weren't photographers or video editors or Instagrammers and if they were Instagrammers I am so sorry for you. Oh, so is my wall. Anyway, Skillshare have thousands of inspiring classes and they're always adding more. I personally like Thomas Frank's Productivity Masterclass, where he had tips on keeping your tasks, calendars, and even your files organized, which is a lot better than my current system of just saving everything to the one hard drive. Or was it this hard drive? Or that one? Or those five? Ah. Develop your skills as the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description can sign up for a free month of Skillshare for free. That's how free works. So you can start exploring your creativity today. Check it out. Okay, so to make an iPhone, we're going to do it the Blackberry way. The same way that they've made their last couple of phones, which is of course, to get someone else to do it. So to make an iPhone, you start with the Samsung Galaxy S9. Oh. But of course, this isn't a blackberry, it's not even a blueberry, it's a slightly feminine lavender berry. I thought it was going to be much more purple uh, when I bought it online, but that's fine. Easy fix, all we have to do is detach the cover here from the blackberry classic and uh, stretch that onto the S9. Shouldn't be too hard, here we go. Yeah. There it is, all right. We shove that on there. And of course, every blackberry comes with its own Apple blackberry sticker. Beautiful. Beautiful, looks just like the real thing. Now to turn it on. I'm already turned on, but now for the phone. Uh, so iPhones, of course, use iOS, but if we're Blackberry, we're a little old fashioned. We've got to go further back in the alphabet and install EOS onto this. What's EOS? Well, it looks basically like uh, iOS, except instead of just clicking the update button to install it, instead you have to traverse through seven portals of hell that look like this. What the hell is this? And that was using the company's easy installer. Oh, but if you do survive all of that, it is worth it because it is a very privacy focused operating system. Sure, Apple like to say, oh, we're all about privacy. It's a human right, except in China. But you know, with EOS, it is all open source and all right, it is pretty much Android, except they've taken all the Google parts that track you and clicked the delete button and replaced it with with not much, it's pretty bare bones. Uh, you know, iOS is up to iOS 15, Android's up to Android 12, and what's EOS? It's based on Android 8. Hey, it's better than the Blackberry, that was based on Android 6, okay? So it's, a, it's technically an upgrade, shush. Let's explore. Okay, now to get apps on EOS, it is a lot like iOS, it does have an app store, except it has all of the big name apps that are probably tracking you anyway, like Subito and Mind Blau, I mean, how much info do you want to give to Mind Blau? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna use the, what I like to think of the Blackberry World equivalent, which is called F-Droid. See, F-Droid has basically all the apps you might find in a traditional app store, except just like Blackberry World, they're a little more shit. Why are they a little more crap? Well, it's because they're all open source and respect your privacy, and you can't have that and have nice things, so you gotta, Make a sacrifice. Now we need the messaging service. So now let's try BBM in the F droid. No, not there, but that's okay. We will just this time use the uh, more commercial app store and type in BBM. And of course we get the business builders. Ah, oh, this looks 
a little bit different. BBM doesn't have maps. Okay, this is someone trying to besmirch the, the good name of uh, BBM, which doesn't exist at the consumer level anymore. But that's okay. If you are actually gonna use this as your, as your real phone, like, like I do, a uh, good privacy uh, messaging service is Signal. It is very good. It's like WhatsApp, but without all the Facebook. Uh, all right then, let's turn this into a real Blackberry now, a real iPhone Blackberry Samsung, okay, my, my original idea has gotten a little muddled, but let's try the, the physical uh, keyboard that I have here. It doesn't connect through Bluetooth, it's just through touch. And now I will type the word Blackberry into here. Blackberry. And as you can see, it has uh, made that perfectly there. Mm -mm 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 All right, so that uh, little tiny physical keyboard isn't going to work, but what does Apple do when in doubt? Grab a dongle, grab your dongle everyone. And then we simply plug in a USB keyboard. And now we have a Blackberry iPhone. Plus, 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 plus. Uh-oh, oh, my keyboard dongle's rattling. Hopefully that's uh, fine. Well, I'm happy, but this might be a sometimes accessory for other people. So let's just put that aside. All right, let's compare apps. Now, would you believe that this EOS actually has its own maps? Uh, app. I think it's based on some open sourcey thing. Let's give that a click. Okay, so far it is competing pretty well against the classic BlackBerry Maps that doesn't that doesn't even connect to the server. How could BlackBerry shut down their map servers? BlackBerry, what are you doing to us? But let's uh, compare it to a real map program, Apple Maps. Wow, which one could be worse? Beautiful, beautiful maps. Both zoom pretty well. They both show up with street names and such. All right, I did see one fancy feature in this special phone. You can have a satellite imagery. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, a little blurry. Let's zoom in. And it stays blurry. <laughs> Compare that with uh, eye maps. And yes, there is a little bit a little bit of difference in the fidelity there. So it's less so much of a satellite and more of an artistic impression, an artist's impression. Okay, another slight difference you might find is in notes. Of course, iPhone, you have text, photos and checklists, and you can even draw a little if you wanna do that. On my version, you can type, and that's it. Maybe the settings. And the settings, that doesn't really want to tell you the settings. It's a little embarrassed. Ah, but I know what you want to see. You want to see, Sam, how does your custom BlackBerry game, can it compete with the classic that can load the Hearthstone loading page? Or is it as shabby as your Apple Arcade uh, top tier 3D animated games? Well, of course, to find out, I have gone to see what amazing games they have in the open source market. Oh, look at this. Galaxy, a simplified gravity simulator. Let's have a go at Blackberry Arcade. Here we go. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening. Interesting. Wow, the definition of a game is pretty loose, isn't it? Okay, so I'm glad that was number one on the recommended list. What do we have? Lexica, a word game. Nothing us business users like more than word fade. Oh, look at that. Pill. Oh, putt. Oh. That's not too too bad actually, okay. Mildly fun, not quite uh, Minecraft mobile, but it uh, does the job. <gasps> Deca Dico, oh, Deca Dico. All right, give me some Deca Dico, please. I think it's summoning a demon. Oh, that's scary. And now it's dialing the underworld. Is that what's happening here? Yeah, ooh. Pray to the Blackberry demon. And of course, the camera. And there it is, the beautiful uh, Blackberry iPhone made by me. Actually, this is quite good as a privacy phone. If you do get a Samsung S9, install EOS at your own peril, but then you can pretty much run all the Android stuff and, and be quite, quite private about it without being snooped on by Google and not being snooped on by Apple with their iOS. You just gotta deal with all the many, many pitfalls. Well. Thanks for tuning into this one and big thanks again to our sponsor Skillshare. Again, sign up with the link in the description. The first thousand to do so get a free month and I'll see you for the next experiment. Sam time, signing off. Subscribe today.
funk it down. And of course, creating your own phone does take a lot of brain power, unless it's the palm phone. But apart from that, oh, this actually looks like a game. Okay, so you can jump and you can poop. Why does he poo rainbows? How does that happen? Am I meant to poo rainbows? Tim Cook has been taking very good photos out of his Apple copter.